Gary Sockrider, and I work for Arbor Networks as a solutions engineer covering the Americas. Can you just tell me what the biggest misconception about DDoS is? Well, there are many, but I would say probably the biggest misconception about DDoS would be that your existing security products and infrastructure can take care of these types of attacks. Uh, the truth of the matter is that they are uh, focused attacks, they, are, they have lots of varieties, many different attack vectors. Um, people think about volumetric attacks, a massive flood of packets, and certainly that's one type of DDoS attack. Uh, however, there are other types, and traditional security appliances like firewalls and IPS and other devices in the network really are just not able to deal with DDoS attacks. There are a variety of reasons for this, but the bottom line is you need a purpose-built, intelligent DDoS mitigation solution. In your mind, what makes DDoS um, such a threat to both cloud and hosting providers? Well, the truth of the matter is, when we talk to customers, we talk to networking and security professionals, uh, they tell us that right now, uh, the most common security protections that are in place in the cloud, in the data centers, are those traditional security mechanisms like firewalls and IPS, access control lists on routers, right? And these mechanisms really just are not capable of withstanding these types of attacks. So we know that they're vulnerable. We also know that in the cloud, you know, you don't control who else is in that data center with you, right? So if you think, for instance, maybe I run a business that would not really ever attract attention, no one knows about it, you know, I'm not going to be much of a target of a DDoS attack. On the other hand, there may be, you know, when I move my business, my services applications into the cloud, into that data center, there may be other entities operating within that, right? Other customers in the data center who are frequent targets. And then what's going to happen is I'm going to suffer the collateral damage when they're attacked. So this is something we really need to be uh, paying attention to and make sure that we have those uh, purpose-built uh, solutions for the data center. As we're here at HostingCon, can you talk a little bit about Arbor's experience working with cloud and hosting providers? Absolutely. In fact, we have a lot of customers that run cloud services, that run data centers, hosting services. And what we found is that uh, it, the ones that have the protections in place that can offer a safe and secure environment are going to be able to demand a premium uh, for their, their hosting services for their customers. And in fact, uh, we're seeing a trend now, and I saw this uh, really uh, uh, starting and, and I'd say trending upward and excel, beginning to accelerate and gain traction at last year's hosting con in Boston. And I remember talking to a number of uh, providers who told me that in the past what they had always done when they had a customer who was a uh, victim of DDoS attacks or target, so they just kicked them out. They told them, go somewhere else. We don't want your business, right? Because it damages our infrastructure, it does brand reputation, and we, it, we have to pay out SLAs, or our customers lose ac uh, access to their sites. Yeah. Uh, now what they're doing is they're putting in DDoS protection services, and they're offering that either as a premium service over that they can upcharge for, uh, and in some cases, they're using it to differentiate themselves, to be able to you know, increase their margins. Sure. And they can advertise that to their customers. In fact, I even talked to a couple of hosting companies that were looking to specialize in taking on the most vulnerable uh, entities that are most frequently attacked and, and uh, offering that as a premium level service. And that, you know, we'll take you. Everybody else is kicking you out. We'll take you in. We can protect you.